In this quick video, I am going to show you how to connect N8N to Amazon S3. Now this should work whether you're on a local machine, if you're using Docker, or if you are self-hosted like I am. Make sure that you like, comment, follow, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff so that you can get the latest and most up-to-date information. So right now we just have a click test workflow. I'm just going to click on the plus sign here and then I'm going to type in AWS S3. And I'm going to click on create a bucket. It really doesn't matter for what we're doing here. And then I already have an account connected, but I'm going to just click on create a new credential. As you can see here, we need the correct region. We need the access key and then the secret key. In order to do that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to come over to AWS. As you can see here, I am in the US East one console. The next step is to create a new user. So I am going to click on users like this, and then I'm going to click on create user. And we need to give this person a name, and I'm going to call this, I'm gonna call this test one, two, three, uh, a God bold, make sure it is unique. And then I am going to click on provide user access to the AWS management console, that is optional, but you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna click on next, and then I am going to click on attach policies directly. And then I am just going to type in S3. And this really all depends on you, but I'm going to give Amazon S3 full access. When I click the plus sign here, you can see that it gives the ability to create, edit, delete, all of that good stuff. And then I'm gonna click on next. After that, you can see AWS S3 full access. If we want to, we can click in and look at all of the resources there and then click on create user. Now, I'm going to download the CSV file for future use. Remember, it is test one, two, three, a God bolt. I'm going to return to the users list. Now from here, I'm going to click on the username, test one, two, three, a God bolt, and then I'm going to click on the create access key. When I click on the create access key, this is going to give me the ability to put this information into N8N. So I'm gonna click on create access key. I'm gonna come down here to third party service, click checkbox, yes I understand, click next, and I am not going to give it a description, and I'm just gonna click on create access key, and you can see that's the access key there, and then that's the password. I'm also gonna download this to the CSV file, but right now I'm just gonna drag this over so that I can copy and paste this right in. Now what I like to do is I like to make sure that I'm in the correct region. If you are not in the correct region, you can get an error message. So I'm gonna change that to US East 2. I am going to click the access key. I'm gonna click on the access key like this, paste it in, and then I'm going to click on the secret key and I'm going to paste this in like so, like that, and then click save. And I should get a message saying, connection tested successfully that means i am in and you can see there aws2 now if i wanted to verify this what i could do is i could go over to amazon s3 in fact why don't we do that i'm going to go back over to amazon s3 by clicking on s3 and then i can look at the buckets name so i'm just going to click on this cats 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 uh this is a testing one of course copy this, go back over to my N8N, and I am just going to, instead of create a bucket, I'm going to click on get bucket, so that we can see, like this, um, close that, get, let's see, let's do search bucket, and then bucket name, paste that in, test step, and there you go, you can see I've got a couple files in there, and that should work for you. And what I'd recommend is make sure that you've got the permission set up correctly. Make sure that you delete any unused buckets or delete any, any of these different um, IAM accounts that you set up so that there aren't any issues going forward. Again, make sure that you like, comment, follow, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.